Hey everybody, Mario Lopez here, and uh, this pre-calculus lesson is on the ambiguous case for the law of sine. Let's go ahead and get started with this, you guys. Uh, so from geometry, the five ways to prove two triangles are congruent uh, were by side, 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 angle, side, uh, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and the hypotenuse leg. You could not do an angle side, side, because I tell my students you make an angle side, side of yourself. Uh, uh, so, um, so the ambiguous case for S or side side angle I'll put instead of angle side side. The ambiguous cases for uh, side side angle has three possibilities in the in defining what a triangle is. So what happens is is uh, uh, sometimes there's no triangle that exists. If you're given two sides and an angle, sometimes there's no triangle that exists. Sometimes ex uh, exactly one triangle exists. Sometimes two triangle exists. So if you're given a side side and a, and and a angle that's not included in between the two sides, can you see this one right here is not this one right here. This one has uh, which one is it? No, this one where the angle is in between the two sides. Here the angle is not in between the two sides. So this says two sides in a non-included angle. Okay, where this one says two sides in an included angle. So here's the three possibilities when you have two sides with a non-included angle right here. So case one, you guys, uh, if angle A is less than 90, okay, so what you need to, and, and the first part is if, if remember, small a is opposite to angle A. So if, if uh, it, small a is less than small b, you need to look at the relationship of A and uh, B times the sine of A. If uh, when A is less than B times the sine of A, you end up getting no solution right there. So you need to look at that case. So first of all, if A is less than uh, 90 degrees, and if, uh, if small a is less than B times the sine of A, then you're not going to get a triangle right there. It, it won't reach right there, and it won't make a triangle right there. Okay, if you get uh, when A equals B times the sine of A, then you're going to get exactly one triangle, and you can use the law of sines to uh, find it. When A is greater than, you end up getting two different triangles. It might be this triangle right here, or it might be this triangle right here. So you could get two different triangles right there. All right, now that's when A is less than 90. All right, so if A is greater than or equal to B, uh, then you get one solution right there. And uh, case two, if A is greater than or equal to 90, uh, and uh, A is less than or equal to B, you get uh, no solution. Okay, if A is greater than B, you get one solution, okay? And then, uh, so determine the number of possible solutions for each triangle, okay? So we're going to use those rules to determine. So here we have uh, 63, which is less than 90. So I want to see what's the relationship between A and then B times the sine of uh, 63 right there. So here we go. So since A is, we're going to consider case 1. So I want to know the relationship between those, so 18 and that. So I'm going to go ahead and find out that 18 is less than 22.28. So given the rules, uh, you find out that uh, it's there's no solution on that. Okay, how about this one? It's greater than uh, 90. So when it's greater than 90, greater than or equal to 90, then we're going to consider case 2. And so we want to know the relationship between A and B. And since A is greater than B, then there is exactly one solution on that. Okay, so once you determine the, how many solutions there are, you can use the law of sines to solve the triangle. So let's try this. Find all the solutions for each triangle. If no solution exists, then, then write that. Okay, 98 degrees is bigger than that. So since, uh, since uh, uh, it's bigger than 90, we're going to look at case 2. And since um, uh, uh, 39A, which is opposite this A right here, since 39 is bigger than 22, then we know there's going to be one solution. So let's go ahead and do that. The sine of A, or, or you can do A over the sine of A, equals B over the sine of B. I was going to do the sine of A over A equals the sine of B over B. You get the same cross multiplication when you do that so it doesn't matter okay so I'm gonna go ahead and plug all those pieces in right there and solve for my for angle B and then once I figure out angle B I can figure out uh, the third angle also you guys so here we go I get uh, angle B to be about 34 uh, degrees right there okay I get to this decimal right here and then I hit shift sign and then shift uh, answer on that to get that right there so if you hit I'm sorry yeah hit shift sign shift uh, this right here, you should get about 34 degrees right there, okay? And then so that's going to make uh, angle C to be 48 degrees, and then we're going to get uh, side C by using the law of sines again. And so here we go, the law of sines, you should get about 29.3.
Okay, so there's one solution on that one. Let's find one where there's two solutions. I th um, okay, so uh, we need to know um, the relationship is, is less than 90, so we're going to we're going to see what's happening here. And so since uh, 21 is greater than 20.94, I get two solutions right here. So let's go ahead and find out the first solution right here. So, so the first solution, I use the law of sines again, and I get uh, angle B to be about 85.9 degrees, which makes, uh, by subtracting from 180, angle C to be 21.9 degrees. Okay? So uh, to get uh, the side opposite C, I use the law of sines right here to get uh, the side uh, opposite uh, uh, angle C, which is about 8.2. Okay, the other triangle comes from the supplement of 85.9. So I take 85.9 and uh, find out that the other angle is going to be the supplement of that, which is uh, uh, the 94.1 right there. So I do, the, and then just do the same thing, the law of sines, and you're going to get those angles. Here's the 94.1. It's the supplement of 85.9. Then I did the same thing I did right up here to get the rest of those angles right there. All right. 